Hello and welcome. In, in this video, I am going to explain about header and footer scripts module by WP825. Before jumping into the main topic, navigate to the module manager by WP825 and make sure you have enabled this header and footer scripts. Otherwise, it will not work. If you have enabled this header and footer script module, then just simply navigate to custom CSS and JS. Here you can add a new snippet, then name your snippet single post snippet and you can display this on entire site or a specific post let's select a specific post and select a post also you can select a specific page too if i select a specific page then i got a drop down for my all pages i can select here my account or home page anything you like let's just stick on a specific post and then the location Whatever we type inside this custom CSS or JS area, what would be the location of our code? You can define header or before content or after content and footer. Let's stick on this header area and it will be shown all device or only desktop or only mobile device. Let's keep on all devices and let's just test a CSS. Body. color okay this is just for test purpose and after writing your code just save it and let's navigate to our post let's preview this and go on view search and type our code You can see the code we have typed inside head area the body color whatever we have typed in this area appear inside our head area by this way you can define any location or select only desktop or mobile devices for your snippet not only for CSS but also it applies for JavaScript you can type JavaScript code here too and then if you think you need more snippet then just Click on this add new snippet button and then click on again add new snippet button. Whenever you need a snippet, just click on add new snippet. Target your specific post, page, categories or entire site and publish your code. By this way, custom CSS and JS by WP25 works. I hope you got a clear idea on how to work with this header footer snippet module. If you still have any question regarding this module, feel free to comment in this video or get in touch via us with our support forum. We will try our best to assist you.